Hi, my name is Keith Partridge. I am the National Duplicator Specialist for Reso Inc. I'm in charge of basically every duplicator that is put out in this country. I am here to help you with a couple of questions people have. One question people often ask me is, I'm getting ink transfer when I'm printing stuff with heavy amounts of ink. How do I stop that? Ink transfer is when you're printing an item like this with a heavy ink pattern on it, on a very ha heavy cardstock, ink is dries. It needs time to dry. Paper falls onto it, you might get a little, little mark here and there. There's two ways to, to stall this. One, what we do is we go over here on our keypad and we have a button that calls density. Whichever ink color is transferring, lower the density. It's not going to diminish the quality of your print. What it's going to do is just going to put a little less ink on there. You're still going to have the same DPI and the same resolution. It just put less ink, which will help you. The second way to avoid transfer is a thing called interval. Interval is a function built into every resale duplicator. And let me show you how to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my function tab on my touchscreen. Here, every Reese is a little different, but on this machine, I'm going to go across and hit the down arrow and I'm going to look for the word interval. There it is. And I'm going to select it. What interval does, it's going to print one piece of paper. The cylinder is going to spin, paper goes under, and puts the image. Well, when, on the second spin, it doesn't pull a piece of paper, which means it's giving your print that much more time to dry before the next piece of paper goes onto it. And you can select between 1 and 10 intervals, which means the cylinder will spin up to 10 times. That means this machine can print at the highest speed 150 pages per minute and at the slowest speed 6 pages per minute. And you can select the speed all between that to go wherever you want. But it does make it easier for you to avoid transfer. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to select the on button and I can select up to 10. I have it on 10 now and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit the start button and it's going to stop printing my image. And what you just saw, saw there was one image printed, pulled the paper through. The cylinder spun 10 times at the normal rate of speed, and then at the 10th time, it pulled the next paper through. It gave it a greater time to dry, and that is going to help you avoid transfer in the future on any piece of paper that you print. One of the last most useful tools we have for the Reso Duplicator is a simple one. It's the user manual. A lot of people don't take the time to read their user manuals for any appliances they get. I recommend reading this with the Arisa Duplicator. Not only is it going to answer the questions you have, it's actually going to let you know a lot of applications of this machine that you didn't know were there. Reading the user manual is easy. It's a quick read. But if you have any other questions, feel free to call us at Reso Inc. Again, my name is Keith Partridge. My contact information will follow. Thank you.